six rescued and recovering, but this federally protected bird is lucky to even be alive. A uh, plantation woman found the bird after it had been shot by someone with a blow dart. Even more troubling, it doesn't appear to have been the only bird targeted in this way. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live at the South Florida Wildlife Center in Fort Lauderdale with the story. Ted. Yeah, Rudaban Elliott, this is that blow dart that was removed from the bird. It's, it's three inches long. It may not look that long, but when you look at the x ray and you see that blow dart inside of that bird's body, then it looks really large. It's a beautiful diet. Wrapped inside that towel is one very fortunate bird, but it didn't start out so lucky. The young purple gallinule was shot with a blow dart, a big one in comparison to the bird's size. This patient is extremely lucky because if you look at the size of this dart and where it went into the body, this bird could have been instantly dead. It was found more than a week ago swimming in a lake in plantation near Hiatus and Sunrise. About a week ago, we had found a bird with a dart in its back. Uh, it was a blow dart. This woman does not want to be identified. She's the one who saved the bird. She snapped a picture of it swimming around with a dart in its body. It took her a full week to catch him. It's very heartbreaking to see an animal in distress and trying to uh, assist it and, and it doesn't realize that you're trying to help it. So um, it took a, a full seven days of, of catch, uh, catch and play with a, with a net. So this is our, our x-ray of the bird. An x-ray shows just how deep that dart was inside the bird's body. That's where the dart went in. And where my, my thumb is right here is the bird's spine. So this patient was very, very lucky that the dart went just about barely an inch underneath the spine. Dr. Renata Schneider from the South Florida Wildlife Center explains how incredible it is that that dart seemed to miss all major organs. It only went through what we call soft tissue, so skin, uh, air sacs, which birds have, and you know, into that sort of body wall underneath the muscle. The bird has been an antibiotic since Sunday, and it appears to be healing well. What concerns both the doctor and the woman who found it is that more darts were found in the area, and another bird was spotted after it, too, was shot with a dart. I think that there are some sick people out there. I think that they uh, get pleasure from causing harm to innocent creatures, uh, you know, and everybody deserves uh, the best treatment. So it's very heart-wrenching. Heart now, this bird that was rescued, it's a very feisty bird, which is a good sign, meaning that it is doing well, it's eating well uh, as, uh, also. Also, what's going to happen now, in the next few days, they're going to move the bird to an outside aviary. That way, it can kind of get used to uh, being out in the open again, and then it's expected to be released back into the wild in the next week or two. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Ted Scouten, CBS 4 News.